guys! So today I have a haul for you guys and this is so collective. Like I have a bunch of clothes, a bunch of makeup, and some skincare and randomly little fun accessories. So my haul is from Hollister, um, Gap, Old Navy, um, Target, and I Kate House, which is an internet um, website. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with clothes first because I have the least amount of clothes. I'm going to start with the one thing that I got from Gap. Okay, so I got these while I was home. Um, these are from Gap and I believe they're Gap. Yeah, they are their legging jean and I am a 26R. And yeah, they just look like this. They're kind of really fun. They're pattern jeans and they're more of like an ankle fit. So they hit like right around my ankle. And I just think these are super fun and cute for the summertime. They're like a light blue with dark blue kind of not polka dots, but like spots. I don't know how you call them, but they're so cute. They're stretchy, super comfortable, and they look really cute on. So I'm really happy I got these. I haven't worn Gap jeans in so long and um, yeah, I love these. So definitely check Gap out. And I think I got these on sale too. So yay for that. <laughs> Bell, really? Everybody can see your nose. Okay, go lay down. Come on, go lay okay, down. Okay, and then moving on to Hollister, I got a couple of things um, since I've been back. The first are these, this tank top. I got this in two different colors. Bell, you can't lay on that scoot. Come on, move it, Missy. I got these tank tops in two different colors. The first time I got it was this white one, and I fell in love with the way it fits, so I bought it in green as well. So this is what it looks like. It's just a white basic tank top. It's got like a little V type of thing, and this is more of like a ribbed material, but this is a heathered kind of material. It's got a rounded bottom, and I just think they're really cute and flattering on. They're just fun, and yeah, I wear them to work, and I can wear them outside of work. And then I also got a green one to wear outside of work. And oh, by the way, these were originally $17.50, but um, they're on sale for $12, and I got them in an extra small. This does not look how pretty it is on camera as it is in person, but yeah, it's just a really nice, pretty green, I thought with like white pants, it would be really, really cute. I also got this top. It's just pretty simple. I got it to wear with a pair of um, pants that I specifically have that I just didn't have a top for, and I thought this would be kind of cute. It's a button up, like half buttoned and then pockets and it's kind of like quarter length sleeves, high low, just kind of cute and I got this in a small. I actually got it in an extra small to begin with but then it was too, I wanted it to be more loose fitting. It fit nicely but I wanted it to be looser and this was $34.95 but it's on sale for $20. So yeah, if you like that, head into Hollister. Okay, and then I also, last thing I got from Hollister was this scarf and it's kind of like blue and white striped with a blue flower on it and I just use it for the blue and white striped part and I wear it with this white tank top and I think it's really cute. So love this scarf and I'm not sure how much this was, but yeah, it's probably like 24 or something like that. I think it's so cute and I love it. It's super lightweight, perfect for the summertime. And then moving on to my last pieces of clothing, which I got from Old Navy. This first one, you guys saw this dress um, in a getting ready with me. I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it, but it's basically just a sleeveless um, shirt dress. It's cute orange. It's showing up way brighter on camera than it is in person, but it's really pretty and I got it in an extra small. I wanted it in other colors, but they didn't have my size in extra colors. Right, and then the last thing I got from Old Navy was this white kind of canvasy button down thing. I use it as either a beach cover up or um, just kind of a casual loose shirt. It's kind of a canvasy material, two big pockets, and the sleeves roll up with one of those things on it, which is what I do, but um, I just ironed this. So that's the last thing that I got from Old Navy and the last clothing I got. So let's go ahead and move on. I have it kind of separated the rest of my stuff into makeup, skincare, and then random accessories. I'm going to start with my, oh, nail polish. I'll start with nail polish first. Um, so I got a Jessie's Girl nail color, and this is in the color um, Love Potion. And I got it because I really wanted to get... Um, Ballet slippers by Essie, and I thought they looked really, really similar, except just these girls, nothing like it. It's not opaque, not very pretty. Um, it's nice for just like a sheer wash of color, like when I do my nails like that, but it's not opaque like Essie's ballet slippers, which is like my all-time favorite. It's like a super, super light white pink. It's so pretty, super opaque. Well, you do need two to three coats, but it's still really opaque compared to this Jessie Girl one. So definitely recommend SA Ballet Slippers, not so much Jessie's Girl, unless you literally want like a light pink sheer clear color on your nails, then Jessie's Girl wouldn't be bad. But um, yeah, it's the first Jessie's Girl I've ever tried and I wasn't that impressed with it. Definitely love my Essie. So my mom actually got this for me and I'm really happy she did. And then a color I was on the hunt for forever and I'm so happy I finally found was um, Essie's Bikini So Teeny. It's just the prettiest light blue, fun, beautiful color. I'm really hoping it's opaque because I don't know. I have not tried it yet. 
um, but I think that it is. It's so pretty. It's like a milky baby blue, but it's still bright at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's just gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear this on my days off, of course. And then, all right, let's move into some random-y, um, accessory type of things. So from iKate House, I got a bunch of headbands. So I got some headbands, just these blue ones. I like using these to put back my hair when I'm like washing my face and stuff like that. They're just nice ones and these actually fit my head. The last pair I bought from the drugstore were so bad, like they just did not fit my head and they gave me headaches. So these are nice. I love them. I wear headbands all the time to get my hair out of my face. And then I got some of these fashion-y type of headbands. So they, this one's just like a red braided one, kind of like a red orange. And it's just kind of like got some braided details and then it's like swishy in the back, not swishy, bendy in the, I don't know, whatever, rubber bandy in the back. And I like wearing these like this or, you know, like boho-y and cute. This is not cute now, but you know what I mean. So that's what I got that for. And then I also got this green, yellow, and silverish one, again, for boho-y, cute looks. And then this one's like my favorite one. It's pink with like some crochet detailing. So again, super, super cute for like school and... Yeah, I just like really like the way these look. I don't know if it's just me, but I think they're kind of like hipster and cute and fun. So that's what I got. And then, um, okay, finishing off with some other like random things that I got. Um, I did get another pair of sunglasses. I left them down in my car for my Kate house because their sunglasses were so affordable and I've been obsessed with the Ray-Ban style ones. Um, so yeah, these are the... Um, www.nysunglasses.com but I got them off of iKate House and I've been loving Ray-Bans. So these first pair that I got were Ray-Bans with kind of like a clearish um, lens, I mean frame, but it has like purpley flowers on it. So they're just like really cute and great for summer. So I got these. I also got a pair of tortoise shell um, Ray Wayfarers, Ray-Ban type of ones. They're down in my car. And then I also got these yellow and black ones that look like this. So they're really subtle, but they're just kind of fun for the summertime. Just really cheapy glasses that you can take to the beach, to the lake. You don't matter. It doesn't matter really what happens to them, but they're just cutesy and fun. And then I also sillyly got these because I just wanted to see kind of how I liked the frame of something like this because I'm going to be getting glasses like this. So I wanted to kind of see what my face looks like um, before I got them. And I know they're really nerdy, but they're perfect for the purpose of what I use them for, which is like sleeping and stuff like that. So um, I did order a new pair of glasses. These aren't it, but they're very similar to these. And they're just going to be really nice for, you know, those days when I want to look nerdy or just like sleeping at night so yeah um got those and they all came with like little glasses cases too which are really nice to throw in your bag so they don't get all scratched up and what i like about them is they're tight like they're like the things are really tight so they don't like slide off your nose when you go forward i know that might be like a pet peeve of just mine but oh it's so annoying so yeah anyways got those glasses all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and move on to some skincare or first this random i just picked up a deodorant I just thought I'd mention because it's my favorite deodorant of all time. It's the Degree Expert Protection. And I got this in Daisy Fresh. Yeah. Funny story behind this deodorant. Go ahead and watch my vlog if you want to see it. Um, yeah. Pretty funny. I don't know if it'll be up yet. But if you watch my vlogs, then you'll know why that's kind of funny. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into some skincare. Sorry, my hair is like driving me crazy. Let's go ahead and get into some skincare. The first thing I picked up was the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. I love this stuff so much. Um, it's perfect at like drying up my oily skin and impurities. Love it. So happy I picked up another one. I also picked up two of these um, brightening, they're brightening essence mask tissue, face mask tissue, sheet masks basically from iKate House. This one is in green tea extract and this one is in vitamin C extract. So one brightens and one put tightens pores and stuff like that. I love sheet masks. They're really hydrating and nice for... Just like if I dried out my skin too much trying to cure acne, these are really nice. So love them. Super excited to try them out. I also got an eye cream. This is from my Kate House. This is their eye fade cream to darken areas around the eyes. This was like so cheap. I can't even tell you how cheap. I think it was like four bucks, maybe six bucks. Um, but it's just like a cream that you put under your eyes. So it's like a really nice hydrating eye cream. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's hydrating but thin. Um, so it doesn't feel like super goopy and this will last you forever. So I don't know how it smells, um, but I just like this because um, it is for the eyes. So that's nice. 
and it's a big cream so maybe if you aren't trying to treat anything but eye creams can be pretty expensive so if you're just looking for a cream that's safe around the eyes and just hydrates this will be a really nice one I think so um, yeah, it feels nice on the skin right now, so I'm excited to start using this, and I will definitely let you guys know how I like it. Also, I picked up another moisturizer. This is the Olay um, Active Hydrating Beauty Fluid Lotion. I've used this for years. My mom has used this since I was a little kid, so the smell totally reminds me of my mom tucking me in at night. I love this stuff. Um, I just got a big bottle of it. This is just like my go-to because it hydrates my skin, even when my skin is super dry. But it doesn't sit on my skin. It literally soaks in and just feels awesome. So it's perfect for oily or dry skin. I think it's amazing. Like if I'm having dry patches, I'll just put extra coat on there. And it literally helps keep my like patchiness to like just keep it moist all day. So I love this stuff. And it's like nine bucks for this big old thing of it. And I think that the sunscreen one is the thing that's breaking me out. The one that I borrowed from my mom, I think it's the one that's breaking me out because I was still using it the other day and I think that's the culprit that was breaking me out. So I've been using this, just very simple skincare. My skin's getting back to its normal self. So love this stuff and can't wait to start using it religiously again. I can't be without it. I've just realized it's it's amazing. All right, and then my last skincare products I got were these e.l.f. Rem makeup removing cleansing towelettes. Um, me and my mom got these. We ordered a big order off of e.l.f. Because they're like a buck fifty, they were a dollar. I mean, they were half off. So, love these. They're just twenty in a pack. I don't use makeup wipes all the time, but they're nice, convenient things for the summertime. So, like those. And then last, I'll figure finish up with some makeup. The first thing I wanted to share you were what were going to be my FIFs for this month, but they're going to have to be next month because you guys know I have a sty on my eye that I need to get removed. Um, and yes, I know a lot of people commented in my video and they're like, that's a little crazy that you're getting a sty removed. This has been in my eye for about four months now. You guys probably haven't noticed that much, um, but it gets bigger and gets smaller all the time. So it's something that I do need to get removed. It's not just something that popped up and I'm like, I need to get it removed. I've tried soaking it. I've tried doing a lot of different things. So I do need to get it removed now. So that's that. Anyways, um, I have wanted to do liquid eyeliners, but obviously I can't. So I'm going to be doing them next month. And the first one I wanted to review is the LA Girl Fine Line Long Lasting Fine Tip Liquid Eyeliner. I got this from my Kate house. It's just a nice felt tip liquid eyeliner pen. I also got two from the drugstore. One's the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes, and then the other one is the uh, L'Oreal Infallible the super slim one. So super excited. Be sure to check out my FIFs next month to see how I like those. And then the last thing I got was for this month, and I still haven't finished getting the rest of them for this month because I just switched because I realized that my eye was not going to be better. So I got this Revlon. This is the Brow Fantasy Pencil and Gel. I'm going to be doing eyebrows this month. Um, so yeah, get excited to see a review on this this coming Friday. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next Friday, so let me know. I like went to Target to figure it out, but they didn't have any colors in my like of like in my any products in my color. So I'm going to have to check out Walmart. So. Let me know if there's any um, products out there that you want to try or want me to try and let you know about. So, yeah, that's the first one that's going to be is the Revlon Brow Fantasy. I'm in dark blonde. Um, I hope it's not too dark, but I'll let you know. So, that's that. And then, lastly, I got two medicated lip things. I got a lip, Blistex Lip Medics. I love this stuff for my, beside my bed. And a Carmex. Again, got these from a Kate House. And last thing I got from my Kate house, which is, it's like the site, if you guys can't tell, it's just like a mod podge of like everything. But it's really just like, I look through that website, I'm like, that's cool, I want to try that, blah, blah, blah. So this is the last thing I got, and I'm really excited to stick these in my purse. They're by LA Colors, and they're their nail polish removing pads. And there's 32 pads in here, and um, it's the perfect, these are lemon scented. It's the perfect... Mm, they smell good. They don't smell like nail polish remover at all, and they actually work. I tried them. So these are the perfect size. I can also put like round cotton rounds in here once these ones are run out, and just keep these in my purse because I hate when my nails chip and I want to take them off instantly. So I'm really excited to um, have these on the go with me, and I do know that they work pretty well. So that is my complete haul. I know it was long. It was huge, and a lot of rambling and I think I went really really fast but anyways I love you guys I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video bye guys